For those who want storage that's not in the form of a backpack, totes remain a practical and reliable choice that can carry just about everything. They're also easy to carry around and require less effort to get out what I need without having to completely take off my bag, like the way I wear with a backpack. With the release of the elements and Bravo totes, Alpaca once again delivers on functionality and design. The totes have a casual and sleek appearance while keeping true to the quality we've come to expect from the brand. Functionally, each bag was designed for a different purpose, as you can quickly tell from their appearance. The Elements Tote is a lightweight and foldable multi-purpose bag that's perfect for running errands or short trips out of the house. Essentially, the Elements Tote combines versatility of the canvas tote bag with more user-friendly features. The use of 300D polyester ripstop fabric for the interior and 200D ripstop nylon fabric for the outside offers weatherproofing and boasts durability for daily use. But because the bag opening is secured by magnetic closures, water could potentially get in through these gaps. Magnetic closures are convenient for quick access, but I don't find them really necessary for an everyday tote like this one. Carabiner loops on each end of the bag straps are handy for keeping my keys and smaller items close by. A quick access pocket is located on either side of the bag. The pockets are deep and spacious, great for sunglasses or a battery pack for keeping my phone charged. Padding along the bottom extends past the corners of the tote, which adds a bit of cushioning to areas that need it the most. The dual tone bag straps are soft, sturdy, and comfortable to carry. The vibrant orange color of the straps is also reflected inside the bag, making it easy to see and grab what I need. In terms of storage, the tote has a 14.5 liter capacity and six large internal pockets that wrap around the entire wall of the tote. The Elements tote is foldable and resistant to creasing, which makes it perfect for packing along for travel or stored in my car or in a larger bag for whenever it is needed. If you do opt to use this as a work bag, just bear in mind that there is no dedicated compartment or padding for protecting your gear. To me, the tote is not so small that it's impractical or overly large for everyday essentials and activities, like a smaller grocery run or a gym bag. Simply toss everything you need into the main storage area or utilize the pockets to stay better organized. No matter your lifestyle, the Elements tote fits right in. The Bravo is currently Alpaca's only tote that's dedicated for work or school. Unlike the Elements tote that prioritizes convenience, the Bravo tote emphasizes organization and everything having its own place. The tote has a sleek, casual aesthetic and functional interior. One crucial difference between the two is that the Elements tote is packable, whereas the Bravo tote is heavier, more structured and rigid in comparison. The interior is lined with a durable 300D honeycomb ripstop nylon, and the exterior is constructed with Alpaca's own waterproof axle flux recycled fabric. The Bravo Tote has a 14 liter storage capacity and two major storage compartments that are equipped with water resistant zippers. YKK Aqua Guards were used for the quick access compartment, and in the main compartment are YKK reverse coral zippers with a durable water repellent coating. The main compartment has a spacious interior with plenty of organization. There are two scratch-proof sleeves that support up to a 16-inch MacBook and a tablet. A Velcro strap can be used to keep everything secured. Across from it are three pockets for organizing smaller items. Larger items like the Elements tote, documents, folders, or books can go in the space in between. In the quick access compartment, there are two mesh pockets, four slots for organizing my gear, and a mod key tether for attaching my keys. Both compartments have wide openings. Specifically, the quick access compartment zips all the way to the bottom, making it easier to see and grab what I need. The rear compartment is also zippered for security, so small valuables can be kept within reach. Lastly, the luggage pass-through is a helpful feature for work travel or for those who have a rolling briefcase or backpack. I particularly like that there's an external pocket just for an umbrella or a small water bottle. The handles on the Bravo Toe are long and padded for comfort and durability. Because the padding is quite flat, I find it more comfortable to carry over the shoulder than in the hand. 
The included detachable padded shoulder strap allows the bag to be carried crossbody and adjusted to suit your height and comfort. There are these buckles added to the shoulder straps that can make it easier and quicker to put on the tote. I can see this being useful in some circumstances where there's no worry of accidentally dropping your bag or if you're not carrying any gear. I prefer the overhead traditional way, but the option is there for those who wish to use it. I didn't find either bags reliably self-standing, especially when it comes to the Bravo tote. Ultimately, I think it depends on what items are packed and how you pack the tote, so it is very much your mileage may vary. This was my comparison of the elements and Bravo Tote from Alpaca. If you're interested in picking one up for yourself, be sure to use my link down below as well as my exclusive coupon code to save on your purchase. Be sure to also let me know down in the comments which tote you prefer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.